G'day, that slot car guy here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video is a review on a slot car track. Now, not just any slot car track, I've reached out to Harrell RS, who make a beautiful boutique slot car track. Uh, we love Carrera, we love Scala Tricks, but this is just another option. So thank you, Harrell, for sending it. We're gonna dive in and have a look at the track pieces they've sent me, how they're made, the quality of them. Obviously, we'll talk about price, but this is just another option for us slot car guys to look at. So buckle in and let's um, unpack Harrell RS slot car track. So welcome back to another video, and as I said, uh, many thanks to Haral RS. I've reached out to them, they've sent me some sample pieces to review to show you guys what this track's all about. Now, before I get into a quick disclaimer, I'm not paid by Haral RS. They've sent this in goodwill. I requested it just to review it and have a look. I love to see what other options we have out there for us slot car racers. As you're aware, I have a massive Carrera slot car track, which I love, but I always want to see what other options do we have. So they've sent me two pieces. We've got, uh, and I'll go into detail what it is. So here's one piece, and here's this incredible Carrera digital slash evolution uh, connector piece or adapter piece. And they've also sent me some um, extensions for those two pieces. But again, we'll look at them in full detail. And just quickly, because we won't touch on this too much when we get into it, they've also sent me some uh, color rails, which obviously you can choose your own color for each lane of the track. So if you're a wood track racer, you'll be very familiar with having your own colored track. Uh, I believe this system runs up to eight, uh, but this is quite cool how it clips out, clips in, and off you go. You can mark your colors as you wish. And the plastics are quite strong. Check out their website, which I'll put here, and I'll put it up a couple of times. How they've made this stuff is quite incredible. So really, really cool. They've also sent me this beautiful Harrell uh, screwdriver with some bobs and bits on how to put the track together, and of course, a manual and some instructions. So, enough looking at me, let's zoom in on each of these pieces and we'll have a chat about them and we'll talk about the makeup of this track. Again, German made, so your mind's gonna be blown, this stuff is incredible. So, let's get into it, let's zoom in, let's check it out. Rightio, so let's get into these two pieces that they've sent me. I'll remove the Carrera adapter plate uh, piece of track first and let's talk about this beautiful piece of hardware in front of me. Now this is a K4 corner, a 15 degree corner, so a nice slight bend. Uh, beautiful if you're gonna make a massive corner, I can see this being a real nice big flowing corner, or if you're gonna change the direction on one of your straights, this is a, a very usable piece. Again, a K4, 15 degrees, so a nice slight angle. Now let's talk about the makeup of the track itself. Very, very thick. This is MDF wood, 18 millimeters thick. So if you're a wood racer, that's probably music to your ears because I do, I do love wood racing. Plastic and wood have completely different feels, pros and cons, but this is a bit of MDF, 18 mil thickness. Uh, and I don't have any scales, but it's quite light. I thought it was gonna be very heavy. This is very, very light. So beautiful bit of wood, bit of hardware. Now let's talk about the topping. They've used a, I'm gonna read for some notes here, a special varnish with some quartz sand to replicate a tarmac feel. Now I'm no tarmac expert and I am Obviously touching this bit of track, it is very tarmac-y. <laughs> if that's a word, that's what it feels like. The great thing about a wooden track with this beautiful coating, if you have raced on wood before, you know about track evolution. Once you start rubbering in a wooden track, it, it creates new life to it, brings it into its own. So I could see this track evolving over time once you start rubbering it down. Really, really cool option. It appears it's got some stainless steel rails. I couldn't find any information on the metalwork, but I'm believing it is going to be stainless steel, which is quite good. We've got an eight millimeter uh, depth on the guide slot and around about three and a bit millimeters in width. So a decent size slot. If you're used to Carrera, that's got a very wide slot. I'm going to use a Carrera carve right here. So you've got a lot of room to place. It's quite good. It's going to fit all your slots. I'm, gu I'm guessing that you've got, because Carrera itself, have some uh, pretty decent slot uh, guides in them. So really, really cool. Lots of options there, you can run a lot of cars. So that's your railing. Now let's talk about the German engineering. Now, before we get into this, this is, isn't a cheap product. I'm gonna say that again, this is not a cheap product. I'm not gonna go into price and you can jump on the website. Again, I'm gonna put it up here. It's not cheap, but once we get into it, you're gonna see why. This is an option for you other than the big companies. Um, you will see why in a tick. So again, MDF wooden track, 
They've milled out these sections where they drop in these moulded, injection moulded bits of plastic uh, fittings. And I believe if you go on the website, you would see how strong they are. They'll tell you how strong they are. This is high quality plastic, so very exciting. And then they're screwed down into place with the power running through the guts of it. And again, that's screwed into place. Fittings on both sides. Very unique. I've never seen fittings like this before. While we're talking about power, going off the notes again, we've got copper and brass plated. So I'll go again. We've got copper and gold plated fittings. Now I'm no power expert, but that's going to that's going to conduct very very well. I would be very surprised if this have, has any power loss across it. So very very good fittings, copper, uh, brass and I'm just going to double check that because I don't want to give you the wrong information. Yep, brass with gold plated connections. So again, high quality, you are paying for what you get. This little bit of hardware is, is an absolute gorgeous piece of kit. Now let's bring in the other bit of track and let's have a look and see how they connect and let's have a listen. Again, German engineering and clip, they clip together. Now of course, any track's going to still have a bit of flex and movement in it, but they've got a nice little connector, let's call it a plate or a fitting, and I'm going to grab one out. They've sent me a bag of them, and this is how you connect your pieces together, as well as your extension. So let's have a quick, I might have grabbed the wrong one. They've got a couple of fittings here, but let's have a look at the, I'll show you these on the double-sided ones. Let's put one of these in, and this is how it works. So let's flip it over and let's have a look at the underneath. As you can see, you've got some cutouts here, and inside those cutouts, there's pre-drill holes, which obviously goes through these little suckers. So if you're going to put an extension on, which we're going to do right now, you'll put the little bit of plastic up and under, and then drop it down like so. Now, that'll be screwed in, so I'm only going to rest it ever so slightly, but if you're going to do it properly on your track, you would screw that into place. Now, the reason that's hanging out, let's look at one of the extensions. Again, 18 millimeter MDF with the same beautiful coating, but you've also got these little milled out sections with these connector pieces, which are again of high quality plastics. So how that works is, little cutout, and hopefully I can line it up properly, and that drops into place. Again, get screwed up from underneath. The reason there's another section hanging out because we've got <laughs> this little into incy piece Again, German engineering, they haven't forgotten anything, and that would drop into place. And then again, screw in for underneath, making a solid unit. Now, the other thing I like about this track is how they join these two bits together. They've sent me some dowel pieces. Very simple, but very effective. And as you can see, within the two sides, there's two dowel holes. So you'll clip them in together first, drop down, and then you will screw it into place. So I'm guessing, and I don't have enough here to make a full track, I'm guessing this will be a very solid piece once it's all set up. Now let's move away the uh, K4 and let's talk about this genius Carrera adapter piece. Now the reason I believe they've gone with Carrera because to my knowledge it is the widest bit of plastic track on the market. You can easily run 132 and 124 and once I drop it on top and hopefully you can see that at home it will line up properly. So I'll see if I can get a better a better image of that, but it, it, it lines up virtually identical. Now to how we fit this to this is quite cool. A little bit nerve wracking, you've got to cut these little tabs off. If you're a Carrera person, you know what these are, they connect into each other. And once they're cut off, you'll drop down and these wires will feed up and under into your rail slots, or you can feed them through the guts, but I recommend up and under. Now I'm going to put a picture up now of how that is. They give you a manual on how to do that, but that will then marry up perfectly. Now they've milled out or grounded out or whatever they've done here to make it the eight and a bit millimeters thickness. So once you put the track on, it's going to be sitting flush with the original bit of MDF wood. Very, very genius. And the, the reason I'm saying this is, yes, this is an expensive product, but if you're wanting to get some corners, and right now I'm talking, I throw up a picture of their map of what corners and straights they have. You might only want to purchase the corners to add to your existing Carrera track because they've got some arcs, radiuses that you can't create with plastic. So you might only be grabbing the connector times two plus some, some corners or even some straights. That becomes cost effective for us racers. Again, you've got the high quality MDF wood. The other option you've got is if you've got some digital 
inserts lying around from Carrera, you can then turn a Harrell RS track into a digital track. Genius. So you can have a Harrell track that goes digital or you can have a Carrera track incorporating some wooden elements. I think that's, uh, that is a great idea. Now again, I am not paid by this company. I've reached out to review it because I want to see what options we have as racers other than the stuff we already, we already know about. So I'm hoping uh, this resonates with some of you. Again, check their website. Uh, I'm not here to sell it. Have a look at it. If it fits your budget, you, there's a track designer on there, which I'll throw up a picture now. You can create your own track and it'll give you a pricing at the end of it. And if that fits your budget, happy days, go for it. But I'm just excited that there is other options out there. This is Germany based. The engineering, as I've showed you, is beautiful. All the fittings are the same. They connect very nicely. So it's just another option out there if you are going to start um, a club track or a home track. So again, oh, and before I go, I actually want to show off this little uh, screwdriver they sent me, which obviously is used for these little fittings. So really, really cool. So thank you, Harrell RS, for sending me this. It's a beautiful piece of kit. I will try and join it to my track and hopefully get some footage of my cars running around it because I reckon this, this topping on top will be incredible to race on. So again, thank you guys. Check them out. There's the website. I'm at that slot car guy. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Take care. Bye.